theory holds that hotspots may begin as a blowtorch-like thermal perturbation in a zone between the liquid outer core and overlying mantle about 2,900 kilometers deep. The thermal plume allows solid yet mobile mantle to rise very slowly and convect outward, burst the entire mantle. Let's zoom in to look at the onset of hotspot volcanism beneath a moving plate. As each pocket of melt stalls, its heat is transferred to adjacent rock. This transfer continues to the base of the tectonic plate, where decreased pressure facilitates rock melting. The magma that forms at the base of this plate rises through the plate in a network of cracks and shallow chambers and erupts on the surface. Over hundreds of thousands of years, large volcanoes build on top of the plate. The weight of the volcanoes bends the plate downward. Volcanoes that spent their constructive life over the thermal plume slowly get rafted away on the moving plate and new volcanoes build in their place. Multiple dikes can feed several volcanoes from separate conduits. The moving plate drags the thermal plume with it. This can explain why volcanoes can erupt again after centuries of quiescence, even after they have moved off the center of the hotspot. However, erosion greatly outpaces volcanism as eruptions wane, and the buoyant effect of the plume diminishes, allowing the volcano to subside. Geologists came up with a new theory. They believe that inside the Earth there are hot spots where hot rocks from near the core rise up through the mantle. Near the surface, these rocks melt, burning through the crust to form volcanoes. As a plate moves slowly across a hot spot, over millions of years, a line of volcanoes forms. One place this is happening is in the middle of the Pacific Plate. Here, the volcanic islands of Hawaii are still being formed. The biggest island has five volcanoes. One of them is killing... The ocean floor is creeping gradually northwest at three inches a year. But the hot spot under it doesn't move. A volcanic island builds up, but as it moves away from the hot spot, it is cut off from the source of lava and dies. Over the hot spot, a new volcano forms. But if the big island is growing, then what's happening to the island of Oahu? Oahu should be shield-shaped.